Tom. Hello, everybody. Tom Fox here. Welcome back to Paper Mario: The Thousand Year Door. In the last episode, we did all the uh, English. We did all the troubles that you could do during Chapter Three, and now we're gonna start doing the ones you could do during Chapter Four, which I don't think is possible because isn't that the one where you're on the boat and you're going fast? And no, wait, no. We got Vivian first. This is the other one. All right, Jolene, help wanted. Need some cleaning done. Motivated workers only. Please meet me in the glitz pit. Gonna go to the glitz pit. Glitz and glamour, baby. At some point, we're actually gonna do the. We're gonna go back to the glitz pit. So, yeah, look forward to that. We'll probably do that after we do uh, all of the troubles. I'm getting all of the troubles done, except for the last one because the last one requires me to go to the pit of 100 trials. Anyway, but I digress. We are going to go to the blimp, and we are going to go meet Miss Jolene. One thing that I wasn't intending on doing, but I'm kind of doing now anyway, is that I'm dividing... It seems like I'm dividing it up by uh, these videos, or these uh, help tr uh, Trouble Center videos by uh, what chapter you can do them in. So, like, basically the first post-game thing was just reading the diaries and doing all that jazz. The sec and the second post-game part, that's not the way I was supposed to go. Uh, second post-game part was the, um, was the, whatchamacallit, was the first chapter, and then third post-game part was the second chapter, and so on. Probably doing, going all the way up to chapter 8 or 9, or whatever the hell last chapter was. I think it was, I think it's 8. I think it's like, chapters like, hold on, let me check. Uh... Okay, so there are actually 9 of these. Or 9, nine like, uh, chat, 9 quote-unquote chapters, because it's like prologue chapter 1, all the way through chapter 8, and then there is, uh, you can do it during chapter 8, and then there's only ones that you can only do after beating the game. So yeah, fun stuff. Let's get back to the glitz pit here. And hurry up. Yo, hurry up. I think that guy, oh, this is the, the that dude. I remember him, like, if you talk to me, he goes, oh, I wish somebody would help me with my trouble. Alrighty then. Let's back, head back up into the glitz pit. Feels like we never left, huh? I should take Yoshi out, because Yoshi was born here. Was born in the pit, raised by it. Yoshi Bane. Beautiful. Beautiful Yoshi Bane. Alright, come, come on, let me through. I'm taking on the boss's trouble. They'll always let me in. Alright. Right. Uh, let's see. Is Jolene's office? Was that you need to talk to Miss Jolene? Go on in, she's waiting. Taking on your trouble, Miss Jolene. Yes, yes, who is it? It's customary to knock before entering. Oh, why, it's the great Gonzalez. It's been too long. How have you been? I must tell you, we've seen a big drop off in attendance since you returned the belt. I was a touch worried. Our financial didn't, didn't look too good for a while, but. Luckily, Rockhawk made a dramatic comeback, and it's reigning supreme again. Yes, it's been a whirlwind of activity every day since I became the promoter. Wait just a moment. Are you back to fight? Great Gonzalez's return? You must be, right? Yes, you must be. Come on, tell me it's true. What? You want to un uh, unretire and battle again? <laughs> I always knew this day would come. Let me just find your old registration so we can... Huh? Uh-oh, what's going on? Oh, ouch. I'm so sorry, but all of your records seem to be gone. So our only option, is, sadly, is to start you in the minor leagues again. Sorry. Sorry, but rules are rules. We can't bend them in f even for our next champ. I'll just go ahead and put you as a minor league fighter again, then. When you want to fight, you know the deal. Use the locker room and communicator. I'll be not be going over the arena rules again, of course. Bye for now. i got to talk to her again, because I'm here for her trouble. You accepted that request? Well, fantastic. Let's get down to business. I need you to clear out the garbage in the storeroom. I can't get anywhere near it. I have a problem with garbage. I don't want to talk about it. Just put it somewhere I can't see it, all right? All right. So the storeroom. As you recall, the storeroom was where we found... Or the second floor, anyway, was where we found all those spiders that had disappeared. I believe this is the storeroom in here. All right. All of it. It's underpants. Battle trunks. All right, well, let's collect everyone's undergarments. Trunks some wrestlers wore to tatters. Boy, they stink. I am just collecting underpants. I can see why she didn't want to touch them. 
Good God, they are stained as well. I don't know with what. It's definitely not blood. All right. Uh, any more over here? Nope. I believe that leads down to the champ's room. Uh, any in this room here? None that I can see so far. I'm gonna check just to make sure. Miss Jolene. Uh, we, yeah, we will be doing the Glitz Pit later as well. Uh, just thought I'd let you know that. But, uh, not now. We're gonna be doing these Troubles first. We got Troubles that need attending to. Alright, now where do I put these? Alright. I think I know where to go. So, it's a little bit of a trip back, but... I don't think we need to do that. Uh, no, that's the... That's not the room I'm looking for. I'm looking for the exit. Obviously. Obviously I'm looking for the exit. I mean, come on. Why wouldn't I be looking for the exit? Because I need to look for the exit to find the exit, to be in the exit, to exit. So I went all the way back to Rogueport before I realized I had to come in here first. Uh, so I gotta talk to Miss Jolene. You smell terrible! Oh no, you still have that garbage on you, do you? You have to take that stuff far away from here. I can't stand it. I know of a Goomba named Gumfrey in Rogueport that buys stuff like that. I've already gotten in touch with him, so you just have to get that trash out of here. Now we go back to Rogueport. Now join me on a magical blimp ride. The blimpiest blimp I blimp. Because blimp. Blimp blimp. Blimp. Come with me on a magical blimp back to Rogueport. Rogueport. Come with me on a magical blimp. Rogueport! Rogueport! Alright, yes, I would like to board! I will show you mine ticket! Why couldn't I just use a cannon to launch out of here? Seems to have worked in the past! Cannons! Because you could say all this is not cannon. Mm. That is true! Almost every Mario game has some kind of cannon that you fire out of. And this game is non-cannon, in that sense. Yeah, anywho, come on, come on, come on, there we go, we're down to the ground, we got out of the rain, but um bum bum blub blub blub, alright, now we head back to Rogpot East, Rogpot uh, East, eh, uh. Eh. Run through as fast as we can. I'm sorry! Don't get mad and turn off the video. In fact, do the opposite. Like, comment, and subscribe. I'm just awful. Simply awful. Alright, this is the guy we gotta talk to. Yeah, I spoke to Jolene. Now, who was it she wanted... What, who was it she wanted taken care of? Not who? What, you say? Well, fine. Let's get it done. So, what are we here to do in here? Still some left? Yeah, let's just give them all the battle trunks. Battle trunks! Battle trunks! Gotten every bit of it out of there. And that is a lot of battle trunks, so we're just gonna keep mashing. Hey, still some left? 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 I guess we're done with this one. Man, I have never had a job this stinky. Make sure you get the, get the rest pay for this, man. And now I smell like a sock. And we're going to jump cut back to Jolene. So to make a, sh a long trip shorter, I'm actually going to go over here and buy hot dogs. You'll, you'll know later. Alright, so I got two hot dogs. Oh, I can go for a hot dog right now. The hot dogs are for later, so don't worry about them now. But uh, it's a good thing to do them while you're here, because otherwise you'll have to go and get hot dogs. And do you really want to go get hot dogs? Because I don't want to go get hot dogs. Who wants to go get hot dogs? Oh, there's actually something else that I need to get while I'm in town. I'll show you that as well while we're doing uh, another quest here. Alright. Talk to Jolene. Jolene! You've cleared it all up. Well, here's your reward. You have my gratitude. 30 coins! I guess we, uh, we won't be getting the smell out of that room anytime soon. You solved the trouble. Hooray! And all it cost me was very little, actually. Alright, so we are gonna go over here. 
And we're actually gonna jump cut back to our own port. So jump cut! But wait, Tom, what are we doing in the Pianta parlor? Well, this is also for a later trouble. Actually, one for this chapter. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, okay, no, okay, well, yeah, 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 well, okay, yeah, 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 okay, I get it. I want to trade in winnings. We are getting cake mix. And we're getting more cake mix. All right. And then, I'm gonna go back over here. She's gonna take our coins from us. And we are going to jump cut back over to the trouble center. So, jump cut. All right, let's see who else is in trouble here. Uh, we come over here, we got a Merly! I want to make a heartful cake, a heartful cake, but I forgot the recipe for Mario's sake. I have to keep my shop open, so can you find the recipe I'm hoping? I first learned it from a, uh, from recipe from Toast Tea. Yes, over in Petalburg, you see. Please meet me in the Charmer's Hut beneath, uh, uh, beneath the Rugport. Hurry, hut! Yes, I will take on Murray's trouble. Do it and do it right. All right. Merly! It's Merly and me! I didn't realize this was gonna- <laughs> I'm just remembering the Star Trek month from, uh, the Nostalgia Critic. I didn't know this was gonna be Marley and me in space! After the, like, this alien dog dies, that's like, uh, the bad guy's thing. The bad guy's pet, as it were. There we- that's Chit Repo. That is not Merly. Last time I checked, that was not Merly. Yeah, all right. Uh, I think she's actually yes, she is over this way. Yeah. Rip Chetto. I don't know. Remember which one's which. All right, let's go over. Oh, jump! I was checking my phone, so I couldn't jump in time. But I did jump in time, so I jumped, and I jumped. All right, Merly, what up? I really must know how to bake a yummy, tasty, heartful cake. Petalburg, you must go. Ask Toss T all she knows. All righty. At first, I thought the first thing didn't rhyme, but it, it turned out it did. I was wrong! Oof. All right, we're going to Petalburg, so jump cut! Welcome back to scenic Petalburg, where we got grifted by an old man. Listen to him for a long time, and all he gave us is a leaf. What's that all about? Yes, hello, I'm Toasty. Did you need something? What, you want me to make a heartful cake? And who asked you, Merly? Let's see, I know you eat cake mix and ruin powder. <laughs> I wonder who Merly is making it for this time. Hmm. That doesn't sound very good. What the heck is even in ruin powder? Well, anyway, let's just go back to Merly. So, did you find the recipe for our heartful cake for little old me? Ah, I remember now. That's right, of course. Wow. Oh no, what shall I do? I have no kick mix. Boo-hoo. And I can't leave my shop here. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. I hate to ask, but you could please bring me some cake mix? I'm on my... Bring me some cake mix? I'm on my knees. Oh, please. Okay. All right. So, yeah, remember what I said to get that cake mix? Thank you. You're the best. You passed my trouble test. Can I make a cake out of cake mix, right? No doubt. As a little... Uh, as you make a heartful cake, mix ruin powder well to... Uh, to make cake mix properly bake. I'm going to make it tonight, and it will be out of sight. Then I'll charm someone right. Thanks so much to you, dear. Here's your reward. Here. 30 coins! I solved the trouble. So yeah, that was one reason why I needed one of the cake mixes. Now, we're close enough where I don't need a jump cut. So remember when I, needed the, when I told you I needed that other cake mix? Well, we're going to go somewhere before we take uh, before we actually go to take on the next uh, trouble. So we just get it all done in one fell swoop and off to keep going back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. So if we come out of the sewers here. There we go. We are going to go over to Zesty's place. Mm hmm. I never really cooked here before. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Here we go. Hey, Mr. Context Pusher, listen to this! I got a load on a book, you can turn it anyone into a master chef. Went to the trouble center in East part of town and re recruited someone to find it. If you like helping folks, you ought to swing by there. I'll reward you. So, anyway, do you need me to cook something for you, Mr. Bumblefoot? Yes, I would like you to cook this cake mix. 
Check out that cook of this cake mix! I'm gonna mix these up for you! For you, so just wait a sec! Okay, she's really cooking. You don't fry cake mix, are you kidding me? Well, unless you're making like a donut or something, but still. Sorry to keep you waiting, I'm not entirely sure you like this, but... Go on, take it, Stompy! A moose cake! Okay, so now we got that out of the way. Saving me some trips here. We're gonna go to the trouble center. Gonna run over there. And there we go! Alright, trouble center, trouble center, trouble center. Whose trouble should we do next? This one is Bobober, the food I want. I have a bad craving for a certain food item. Did you fetch it for me? Please meet me in Petalburg. No, I wanted to take the trouble. Yes, I want to take the trouble. Do it and do it right. So we're gonna jump cut over there to Petalburg, so jump cut! We need to get something from this bubble before. So let's see. Hello and good day to you. I'm Bobober. Came here after hearing my request, correct? Ah, I'm so happy. I would like to ask you to bring me a hot dog. Yes, a hot dog is what I desire. It's said to be spicy, but I never experienced spiciness in all of my life. Some say they're sold in Glitzfield. Please get one if you can. Well, that's why we stopped there to get hot dogs first. So, here's your hot dog. Oh, this is a hot, so this is a hot dog. I'm going to go ahead and try it. <laughs> oh, hot, hot, hot. This is spicy. Well, this spiciness is quite interesting. It makes me crave more of it. I'm terribly sorry, but could you get me one more hot dog, please? I must have one. I would appreciate it. Oh, did you bring me a hot dog? Yes, I've got another hot dog for you. Oh, I'm so happy to be able to eat another hot dog. I've never, dr I've dreamed of this. No, if I were to meet you, like, oh, um, oh, oh, hot, hot, spicy, spicy hotness. Now this, this is spicy. Oh my, that was positively delicious. Good gracious, I'm sweating with pleasure. I'm surprised that this was, it was spicy rather than just spicy. By the way, I know this is rather rude, and I'd love to chase away that sweat. Sweets are the, are the spice of life, and that's my new theory that I've now just coined. Could you maybe cook up some cake mix, please? I really want a piece of moose cake. Which is why we got the moose cake. Here's his moose cake. Oh, moose cake. I can't wait to eat it, so I won't. Oh, ooh, sweet. Good gracious, I'm quite satisfied now. But I feel like I've been demanding. Maybe I just wanted to be spoiled by this. Maybe I was so selfish because... Well, because it's such a peaceful place, and I crave peace, love, and food. I'm sure that's it. Anyway, please let me show you my gratitude. With a dried bouquet. Beautiful flowers made by Bubulber replenishes 1 HP. I've been growing these dried bouquets lately. You want more? Just bring me another hot dog. You'll always be welcome here. Thank you so much. You solved the trouble. Sweet! And now that that's out of the way, next time on Paper Mario and the Thousand Year Door, we're going to be doing the tr uh, Trouble Center stuff that you can do during Chapter 5. So, like, the one thing, two things about that before we go is that, first off, it's really funny that that flower is carnivorous. Second, uh, if you're watching this video and kind of using it as a guide, a really good idea to grab those hot dogs while you're already in Glitzville. The hot dogs and cake mix while you're already in Glitzville and Rogueport, so that way you don't have to keep going back and forth for them. Anywho, like I said, next time we're going to be tackling the Trouble Center parts that you can do during Chapter 5. See you all there!